Well, hey there, dreamers. Welcome to Clever Shrub Gaming. I'd like to introduce to you some of my friends. Come on, guys. Come on. Don't be shy. I know, I know. Come on. Come on. Cool. Hey, hey what's up? So you guys, you guys see this? You're wondering, you're asking yourself, Trev, how, how did you do this? It's actually a lot easier than you would think. So I basically use two programs, Dreams on the PlayStation 4, and then there's a program, there's an app on the PlayStation 4 for free. It's called Share Factory. So if you don't have Share Factory, go ahead and download that right now. Uh, but what I'm going to do in this tutorial is to explain to you how to take a video like I'm taking right here on my phone and how to make something in Dreams, meld them together to create something like this right here. So, you ready for that? Let's do it. Alright, so once you're in Dreams, when you go to My Creations, we're going to start a new creation. But first, I want to show you what I used in the introduction of this video that you just watched. And I know it says green screen, but actually it's blue. So you want to make a blue background. And anything that's blue in your scene is going to be cut out. So make sure that any of your puppets, any, anything you want in your foreground, it cannot have any blue in it. Any blue colors will be cut out. So that's why I'm using red, orange, black, white, green. So that's very important. So you can kind of get a gist of how I made, how I made this scene, but we're going to just start from scratch. And I'll show you kind of how I started that. So we're going to start fresh, new scene. And I'm going to, I always like to turn on my grid snap and I'm going to turn off the floor. And we might as well just use our initial block here. So I'm just going to uh, grab this and flip it to make it vertical. And this is going to essentially be our blue screen. So I'm going to change it to blue. So we're going to change our color to red, but then switch it down to blue tint amount. So make sure it's right, pretty much right at 6 o'clock. I like to make the roughness go all the way up. Also I like to change inner properties and turn the color amount to zero. Now a few more things we're going to do. We actually want to go to our tools, sculpture detail, increase detail, and try to make the detail on this very high. I know our thermal is going to go up, but it helps just making it a little more crisp. So now we've got a nice blue screen, but it's not super blue. So I'm going to go to Gadgets, and we're going to throw down a Sun and Sky gadget. And we're going to scope into our Sun and Sky gadget and change it to white, so our sun is white instead of yellow. And I like to turn the brightness up a little bit. And then depending on where the lighting is in your actual video, like on your cell phone, uh, you can change where the sun direction is. And also turn off, I recommend turning off cast shadows and also turn off sun visible. And then go to your uh, sky properties. I recommend turning your sky brightness off. Turn your sky tints intensity all the way up. Horizon definition all the way down. Flex shade randomness all the way down. And then your fog randomness, turn it up to 10,000. So I just hit a, I just put a bunch of nines in there. So that's all the way up to 10,000. And then uh, next, let's throw down a camera gadget right about there. I'm going to scope into my camera, and I want to make sure I can't see anything except blue. So make sure all you see is blue, like that. And then let's throw a puppet in there. It's, and this is where you can kind of put whatever you want in there, depending on what you're trying to show in your blue screen. So I'm going to grab a blank puppet and try to kind of line it up there somewhere. And I don't want it light blue. The default puppet is light blue, but that's too close to blue. We want it not have it nothing like blue. So I'm going to go to modes, coat mode, colors, and let's change it to how about this green color? So I'm just going to change it all the way to green, like that. Let's check out our camera. That looks about right. So next, I'm just going to animate this puppet a little bit. I'm going to do a little record possession and just possess him a little bit, give him a little bit of movement. So we're just going to record a little bit and jump around, da da da. This is all going to be up to you, how you want to have your foreground or whatever you're trying to have in your green screen. Good enough. Stop recording. So now if I go back to play mode, you can see our puppets jumping around. Cool. So this is almost what we need, but we don't want to. We don't want this uh, imp in the in the way. So I'm gonna go back into my camera settings, and I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna enable disable controller sensor input, and also more importantly, hide imps. 
So if we go back to play mode, all we have is our green puppet and then the blue background. This is perfect. So I'm going to let this play for just a little bit. Just play for a little bit longer. And then what you, what you need to do is save this video on your PlayStation 4. And if you're not familiar with the share button, basically what you do is hit your share button and you're able to save the video. And you can change the settings in, in your more in-depth share settings, but you can change it to record 30 seconds, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. You can record up to an hour of gameplay. So what I want you to do next is you're just going to save the video uh, and then you're going to import that video into Share Factory. So hit your share button, save your video, and let's bring it into Share Factory. Let's go. So now that we've booted up Share Factory, we're going to start a new project. And you can pick any theme you'd like. I always use the Dreams theme. It's free if you want to download it. And it does give you a few default clips. I'm just going to disable some of these clips that it gives you to start with. And the actual clip that you want to select is the background clip. So basically the clip that you, you, you recorded with your phone or your camera. So for example, I'm going to use this clip right here that I used that I recorded with my camera, my phone. And we're going to hit square to start project. We're going to rename it. You can rename it whatever you want. Let's just call it stream, whatever. Let's continue. So this is what it should look like. This is the, the video that I took on my phone when I made the intro of this video. So you can see me walking around like an idiot, <laughs> ducking down. Okay, so anyways, the next thing you wanna do, we're gonna add our blue screen clip that you made in Dreams next. So you're gonna hit X and you're gonna add track to, all right, and that's me right there. Ignore that, don't worry about that, rock on, what's up? You're gonna hit X again and you're gonna go over to add clip. Now you need to search for that clip that you recently share, saved with your share button. So remember I taught you how to use your share button to save your clip in dreams. So for me, it's this clip that's one minute and six seconds long. So I'm gonna select that. And next thing you're gonna do, let's just scroll, scroll a little bit to the right just so you can see the screen so that you see both of them. And you're gonna hit your square button. You're gonna to go to picture and picture layout, pip layout and you need to change it to full screen, like that. Next thing you want to do is hit your triangle button and then hit your X button and go over to green screen and click on green screen with your X button. Boom, so now it should look something like that. So if I hit the circle button a few times to back up here and rewind it a little bit and if I play it, our puppet should be showing up with the blue screen, just like how we made it just a few minutes ago. And that's pretty much how you do it. But there's a few more things you can do. Sometimes your blue screen kind of gets a little sketchy and it kind of blends in with your puppets or whatever your foreground is. So the last thing I'm gonna show you is if uh, we hit our square button and we go to our edit track too, and then we hit triangle and then we hit square and we go to settings. You can change the tolerance and the feathering. So for example, if I were to turn my tolerance all the way down, it would get basically get rid of our blue screen effect. So you can turn that up a little bit. I like to turn it up to about 0 0.60 and then same with feathering. You can change that a little bit depending on if you have any of that blue bleeding into your actual characters. I'm gonna keep that at 0.5, and you probably won't notice that a whole lot from, from this video. Uh, but that's pretty much it, friends. Now we've got our, our green screen dreams puppet in front of our, our cell phone video or whatever type of video you wanna import, but you usually wanna import with a MP4. And sometimes yeah. you do need to, to MP or import videos into share factory sometimes you know it, it, it involves using like a thumb drive and you have to make sure you have to rename a few different things into folders and stuff like that so but that's about it um i'm happy to answer any of you guys' questions if you want to comment um in my comments below on this video if you have any questions if there's something that i missed 
uh, you know, I'm, I'm more than happy to answer you. And if you want me to get more expansive on this, I'd be more than happy to. And if this is the kind of stuff you guys like, if, uh, if you like these kind of tutorials, don't be afraid to like and subscribe. And um, yeah, that's about it, dudes and gals. My name's Clever Trev. That's me in the video looking like a dummy with a Bob Ross shirt. <laughs> uh, but this is fun. I'm excited. I hope uh, to see you guys do some really cool stuff with this. So um, until next time, dream on, friends. This is Clever Trev. Over and out. Welcome to Clever Trev Gaming.